for watching Hogan Sports. Uh, I wasn't going to do a show today because I didn't get much sleep, but let's do it real quick. Uh, TCU Horn Frogs, uh, they're Texas Christian University, uh, a drug bust on campus today. 17 students were arrested, four who play for the football team. And it's not just like they were accused, like they actually sold marijuana directly to undercover police officers. So they're sort of screwed. And it is kind of uh, sad to hear because it is, you know, TCU, Texas Christian University. You expect it to have a little bit of a greater uh, moral fiber than your average university. Uh, it also, it makes me wonder if how much how much of the uh, student athletes selling marijuana was was to make more money, to to buy more food, because the meal plans they're on aren't good enough for student athletes. Uh, I, I didn't have a meal plan at university because I was at home, so uh, from what I understand, it's like during the week, Monday through Friday, you get three meals, but then on the weekend, you get like two meals a day or something, so as a student athlete, you probably need more than that, because I know to, they they expend more energy than your average person, and then to maintain and grow muscle, obviously you need more calories, and so uh, if you're looking at maybe paying student athletes for additional food at least, I know they're student athletes, they're amateurs, they're not supposed to be getting paid, but at least give them a greater meal plan or something for their contributions, because for the most part, student athletics make a lot more money than they cost the university. Uh, next story. Albert Hainsworth was released again today. <laughs> That's, uh, let me see, he went from Tennessee, got that $100 million contract in Washington, where he was uh, waived, who, and then New England picked him up, and they waived him, and then Tampa Bay picked him up, and now they waived him. Uh, <laughs> Kind of, kind of sad to see this guy is crashing and burning, and uh, maybe he's out of the league for good, as he hasn't really, he hasn't been productive. I mean, look, all these teams release him. Well, it's just kind of sad. I hope uh, he, I hope he find either finds a, a booth to to sit in and talk, or uh, a team that he fits in well with, and he can be somewhat productive, just to sort of salvage his career a little bit. The uh, last story I want to talk about today is uh, Olaf Kozig, former great goaltender of the Washington Capitals, and now goaltending coach for the Washington Capitals, is saying that Alexander Ovechkin, like the star, I like him more than Sidney Crosby personally. Uh, that uh, Alex Ovechkin needs to stop sort of living in that rock star status, which I agree with a little bit because. Ovechkin has embraced that rock star role that he's earned, but he's had a down season, and I mean, by most other players' accounts, this would be a great season, but by Alex Ovechkin's standards, it's going to be one for the, the shitter, I'll tell you. On the other end of that, there was an analysis a couple years ago I read that was players between the age of 24 and 26 that are offensive producers, he, that's when they start to go into their decline, so after that... They're no longer that all-star offensive force. They still put up good numbers, but they're not They're not the game-breakers that they were in their early 20s. So uh, maybe part of Alex Ovechkin's struggles is just that he's hit that peak. You know, kind of sad to see it, but I, I knew that day would come for him because for as good as he is, at, at some point his physical crash-bang style is just it's going to take a toll on your body. And uh, it's hard to it's hard to play like that forever. Um, also, Kolzig uh, mentioned that uh, Nick Backstrom's been out, which is highly important actually. Ovechkin's a winger, and you need a playmaking center to really help you with those offensive chances. And Nick Backstrom's that playmaking center for that first top line. The question of the day is: Do you think student athletes should be compensated greater than they already are? Uh, you could also comment on the Albert Hainsworth uh, story. Just curious what your thoughts are. Maybe he'll come back and can uh, be a stronger force somewhere else. Or uh, even about Kolzig talking about Ovechkin. Be sure to comment down below. Down there. Give me a thumbs up. Yeah, it'll make me feel better. And uh, subscribe to my channel. I put out videos uh, several days a week. Usually Monday through Thursday. Alright, uh, take care. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.